These are the ones. Ladies and gentlemen, we out here on another episode. I'm pretty sure this is my 20th episode now. Look, kind of wish it was a lot more. It's not. That's fine. I'll get over it. Anyway, we're heading south. Finally got time off work. Jumped on my boat with Kita. Yep. And we're heading south. Good girl. So I've got my lines out now. I've also got Kita up here. Say hi, Kita. Good girl. So one of the you know great things about sailing, uh, great and not so great, is that it takes a long time for you to get to your destination. So you get really good at making coffee. So I'm gonna go make myself some coffee. Uh huh. And some pancakes. Is that right, girl? Huh? You wanna go? You want? You want some boat pancakes? You want some boat pancakes? Well, yeah. Who wants boat pancakes? Hey. All right. I want to go make some coffee and pancakes. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Look, I'm no barista, so you're not getting any barista art. That's the best you're gonna get. Some fucking squiggly lines is art to me, baby. Hot. <laughs> really good. I'm gonna burn my tongue. Banana boat Let the line go. Bit and left. Damn. Oh, maybe. Whatever it is, it's not giving much of a fight up, so I'm not going to find it. Oh, yeah, no, we definitely got some. Definitely. Oh, we'll spot the mackerel. First fish of the day. Oh. Unfortunately, he's a little too small, so I'm going to let him go. I'm going to get that hook out. However, the hell I'm going to do that. Got no bloody idea. All right, got the hook off. Here you go, buddy. Be free. All right, let's hope we get something bigger now. Wash my hands. So lately, I've been putting this brain fuel from All Good Nutrition in my coffees. It's just, I don't know, it gives it a little bit extra taste, and you know, stuff's good for you. They're a local cans company, and they're worth checking out. Um, yeah, just what you'd like to know. Bob, you look away for two seconds. Oh, that was a bit exciting. You know, my coffee's slightly colder now, just because, you know, fish. Oh, I forgot the syrup. Mm. So, I reckon we're about, I don't know, 10 nautical miles off where we're supposed to be going. So that's exciting, and the plan is when we get there, well, if we don't catch a fish trawling, well, a big enough fish trawling, then we'll, I'll go for a spearfish and explore the island, see what it's got to offer, and you know, do all that good stuff. 
Let's try these burnt pancakes. You know, the burnt pancakes, they're not too bad. Gershon! Oh, I think it's a mackerel. I think we got a mackerel. Yes, baby. That beaut, perfect size. Absolute fucking perfect size. Here we go. He's done. Spanish mackerel. Beautiful. Look at the color on that. It's like rainbow in the sun. That's pretty cool. All right, now for everyone's favorite part. Well, especially not mine, the the filleting part. Ooh, I hate this part. Always gets my hands so stinky. Oh wait, I bought gloves for that. Never mind. That was a mission and a half. Glad that's done. Well, now that that's done, I get to enjoy the spoils, huh? To have some shishimi, 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 shishimi. I don't know if I'm saying it right, but that's what I'm gonna have. Raw fish, a little bit of soy sauce, a little bit of lime, even got some for Kita, yes. Oh, yum. Get a bit of soy sauce. Squeeze a little bit of lime on it. Mmm. Yum. Right. You can have the one with the skin on it. The island we're heading towards is right there. I don't know if you can see it. Oh, you can see it. I reckon we should be there in about uh, at the speed we're doing, which is like four knots. We'll honestly probably get there in like an hour, hour and a half. It may seem like a long time, but the vibe and everything, time seems to fly. Hey! It's mine. You can have a little bit more. Anyway, I might put up the drone, fly around a little bit, enjoy this flat water and so on. And then Take it as it the day goes. Hey, that's my one. Okay, bye. You know when you go on a trip, how there's always something you forget. There's always something, and it's usually kind of important. Well, mine was a machete. So I thought, then I remembered, I have this bad boy. I have a katana on board that's been, well, it's decoration, or well, was decoration, but it's, it's a real katana. You know, it's sharp and stuff and pretty strong. So I'm gonna use, this as my machete. I mean, that's going to be pretty cool, right? I'm going to be like the beach samurai. Whooshy. Man, the beaches that are the hardest to get to always pay off to be the best looking. Holy, hey, Kira, how beautiful, how beautiful, yeah. Check out that. Check out the coconuts. 
Oh my god. I am like fucking so excited right now. Wow. How's that? You could build like a little shack in here. If I was gonna get marooned on an island, it'd be this one. Look at that. This is gorgeous. Coconuts. Almost an arm's reach away. Wow. See, those were the waves I was trying to avoid before. Getting caught up in them would have not been good. Wow. That's pretty cool. Little tunnel. The rocks. All right, enough exploring. I need to get myself some coconuts before that sun goes down. And back to the boat to cook that mackerel. These are the ones I'm gonna be getting down. Tell you what, using machete has, I mean, using a katana has a lot of weight behind it. It's a massive forearm workout, but slices through a coconut pretty easily. Oh, that's so good. Fist bump. Yeah. There you go. There you go. Yeah, yeah. No, you ready? Yeah. Down in. Probably first time anyone's used a katana to open a coconut. You know, probably, honestly, probably not the first time someone's done that. First time I've seen someone do that. So, cheers to that. All right, had me some coconut. It was fantastic. Now it's time for swim time. Woo! Go back to the boat before the sun goes down. Let's go with that mackerel. Woo! Kia, come on. Come on. Now, this is a tricky part because I have to time it perfect with the waves. I think after that wave there, I want to make a run for it. So far, so good. Nice. Made it through. All right, dinner time. So the sun's pretty much gone. Unfortunately, we're not gonna get a very impressive sunset because we are on the windward side, but our sunrise is gonna be awesome. So, this is what we got for dinner. We got some freshly caught mackerel. We're gonna bake some potatoes and then have a couple of these bad boys, shipwreck rum. Now, best rum in the world, 100%. I love these guys. 
they don't sponsor me, they really should. Come on, shit rack rum, get round it. I'll, I'll work with you. Anyway, we're gonna put them on the barbecue. Put the potatoes on first. Because they're gonna take a lot longer to cook. This is me trying to do this one-handed while filming. All right, I'm gonna put the mat on now. Potatoes are baking beautifully. I'm bringing any tongs, so I'm gonna have to try. Ah, fuck this shit. For future baiting, the one that's editing the videos, um, remember to buy tongs, please. Beautiful that is. Rainbow horizon. Dinner is ready. Perfectly potatoes. Look good. Alright. Dinner is ready. Look at that. Man, presentation could be better, but that's that's pretty good, right? That's pretty good. Now for the taste test. Go the mackerel first. You guys already know. You already know what I'm gonna say. I'm gonna say it's fucking awesome. Right, oh, yeah. I'm gonna squeeze a little bit of lime. Mmm. Even with my rainbow sunset. Alright guys. I'm gonna finish this. Enjoy watching the horizon. Have a couple sneaky rums. If you guys enjoyed the episode and you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. If you're already subscribed, I love you. Thank you. You're the best. Um, and if you guys want to get yourself some Sakelia products, you know, join the crew. Get yourself a comfy beanie or a cap. Link down below or sakelia.co. And we'll see you guys for the next episode. Yo! Ooh, 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 ooh. Make boat pancakes, doobity doo.